So, polygons are a thing that everybody loves lately for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to do the quickest and the best way to do a geometric or vector graphic polygon design. So, check this out. There's a couple things that you need to know, right? Let's move over here. But look at all these things, right? They're basically made out of uh, uh, either triangles or kind of squished squares or other shapes. And you can do some more interesting things with them, uh, as in stuff like that, or you can do just fairly basic things with them, um, you know, where they're bigger or smaller or whatever. There's lots of different things. But I've seen a lot of different students spend a ton of time manipulating uh, the shapes in ways that are really, really dumb. For example, uh, using the pen tool to create all those things. Um, and not knowing one of the functions of the eyedropper tool and stuff. So anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys this really fast because it can happen really quickly and it can be kind of interesting. So check this out, right? Go off to the side of the artboard and start with your pen tool, which is P. Make a triangle, okay? Three, three corners, okay? Make a rectangle, four corners, right? Doesn't matter if they're exact or anything like that. Okay, then just for right now, Let's just do basic. I'm gonna hit D so that I have a black outline and a white fill, okay? And then what I can do is there's a little trick. If you go to Object, Path, you've got this idea of average, which is on a Mac, Command-Alt-J, and on a PC, Control-Alt-J, right? And what average does is really awesome. I'm gonna take my black arrow tool, which is V, and I'm gonna jump over here like this, and then I'm gonna make a couple copies of this thing, right? And then when I want to start joining these, I'm gonna switch from my black arrow tool to my white arrow tool. I'm gonna to grab these two and I'm gonna press that button. And that brings up this menu, which I will zoom in on. You can average it horizontally or vertically, or both. You want both. So we hit okay and they just jump together. Isn't that awesome? And so I'm gonna grab these, do it again, hit okay. Okay, and I'm gonna grab these two like that, jump together like that. Okay, they jump in there. I can grab two anchor points at the same time and do it. And hit go, and they jump together, and then I grab these two, and they jump together, and then I grab this one, and these two, they jump together, right? That happens way faster. Here's another cool thing that you can do, is I can come in and say, well, they kind of randomly jumped, and I didn't really want them to jump there, right? Well, you can just click and drag all of those points together, and it'll pull them apart and pull them around and move them and do different things with it. And so you can kind of do uh, fun stuff like that, right? Okay, but what happens if it's in the middle? I can't click and drag here because then it starts moving that shape around. Okay, let's put a couple other shapes in here. Uh, we'll just go like this and like this, and like this and like that. All right, so I'm gonna grab all those anchor points and hit return. And I'm gonna grab all of these anchor points and hit return. Grab all these anchor points, doing that object average, hold shift to select multiple anchor points. Okay, so it's way faster than I've seen a lot of people do it. Way faster, this one and that one jump together. Okay, so now you've got this. There's a bunch of ways that you can do this, but this is just one of the, one of the faster ways. So now we've got this, but what if I want to move all of these points? Okay, I can't come in here and click because that's that, right? But I could go Command Y. That brings us to our outline mode. That's under View here. Command Y will toggle back and forth between outline, and then I can click and it doesn't affect me. So I can come in here and I can say white arrow tool, give me that guy, move this around, right? Give me these guys, move that around. So you can kind of build these shapes out however you want doing it this way. Okay, then coloring them. That's another thing I've seen people do in kind of a dumb way. So let's go command Y again to bring this back, okay? Let's say that I want two different sets of colors. I am going to uh, use blending. So I'm gonna create a square here. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, uh, one of these is going to be blue, right? I'll come down. Let's say I have five blue values, okay? 
first thing I want to make sure is that I don't have a stroke. So I switch over here, okay? And you can see that you can press X and it'll toggle which one is active. Put your stroke active, and then you want to push the forward slash, you can be no stroke, okay? So I don't have a stroke on these. And then I'm gonna make one of these much darker. So I'm gonna go to my color, I'm gonna mix HSB, and I'm gonna go darker, okay? And then I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna go back to color, and HSB, and go brighter, okay? And then I'm gonna grab these, and I'm gonna go object, blend, make, object, blend, blend options, okay? And however many steps I want, click preview, I can increase or decrease the number of colors that I have. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to have three steps in between those two, which gives me five. I'll click OK. And now here's the cool part. I'm actually going to take this, which is already blended, and I'll take my black arrow tool, click that over. With my white arrow tool, I can click on one of these ends, and I can say, I want this part to be yellow, and I want this part to be orange or scarlet or red or whatever, right? And then I've got these two. Now, here's where it's cool. With nothing selected, this doesn't work if you have one of these shapes selected, so click away from it with your black arrow tool, then click your eyedropper, then you can click on one of these colors, and if you hold Alt, notice how it changes when I tap Alt, okay? That'll push color from your eyedropper. And so you can come in here and you can push colors from these swatches, and I'm just toggling back and forth between Alt Oops. Okay, if you toggle wrong, then that happens. There we go. Uh, so we'll make this one darker. Excellent. Right? And then the only thing that you really have to worry about is uh, where these things go and your light and shadow. And so just to recap, okay, when you have some shapes together like this and you want to jump several of these points together, you highlight all the points that you want to jump together, boom, 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 and boom, with your white arrow tool, then press Command, Alt, J, and do both. Okay, white arrow tool again, Command, Alt, J, both. Okay, grab this one, white arrow tool, white arrow tool. Let's grab this one, we'll go like that. We'll grab this one and these guys. We'll grab this one. Then maybe we want like some different ones or whatever. You can add anchor points if you want. You're like, oh, I want this one to kind of be a weird shape. So let's have it be like this shape. Okay, and then here's a cool trick that you can do as well. Jump these together like that. And then you're like, but I don't want to draw one in the middle. So you can just add one with your Shape Builder tool. Shape Builder tool is this guy, Shift-M. So because they're intersecting, you can kind of do that. Um, anyway, so I can come in and I can say, oh, I want this shape over here. I need a triangle. So you just grab a triangle, pull it in there like this, grab these two, push it like that, grab this one, grab these ones, push it like that, move them over, grab this one, Push it like that, okay? And then once you have the colors you want, deselect everything, get out your eyedropper tool, grab that color and push it by holding Alt, grab that color and push it by holding Alt, grab these different colors. You can change your mind a little bit if you want. And I'm doing, I'm doing these colors, but you can kind of do whatever colors you want. It doesn't have to be blue and yellow and orange and whatever else. Okay, you can kind of just do whatever, right? And so those are the fast ones. Outline mode is Command Y. Object Path Average or Command Alt J will jump all your anchor points together. Your white arrow tool is A. Your black arrow tool is V. Blending is actually Command Alt B, but then to get to your blend options, you have to go to Object Path and then, uh, or object blend, and then go to blend options, okay? Um, and that'll get you that. And then if you wanna, you wanna pull color with your eyedropper tool, the eyedropper tool, you tap I to get your eyedropper tool. But if you wanna push color, then you hold Alt while you click, and it'll actually push whatever is loaded into the eyedropper tool. So 
That is how you can make all of these things that are super awesome, right? But you can do it much, much faster than I've seen many, many students do it. So hopefully that was helpful. You can check out my stuff at coreykerr.com and you can check out uh, my YouTube channel where I have lots of vector graphic and illustration and Photoshop tutorials and you can see lots of my playlist there. And uh, you, guys are, you guys are rad. So go check that out and I will catch you later. I'm out.